Dead Messenger is the new seasonal exotic weapon to arrive in Destiny 2 alongside the Season of the Risen. Well, this one is a really unique grenade launcher and allows you to change up the element at the flip of a switch. So it's really going to be useful when you have to take out different enemy shields. Well, today I'm going to run through all the quest steps for how to get the Dead Messenger so you can get your hands on this new exotic grenade launcher as soon as possible. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, there's a few steps to get the Dead Messenger, plus the level requirements for the final mission are 1550s, so it can be completed below that, but it is worth taking this into consideration when you start out this quest. Also, you have to do a couple of quests to unlock the exotic quest, so there's definitely a few hoops to jump through. Well, here's a brief rundown of what you need to do, and then I'm going to go into detail on each one. So you have to play through the Witch Queen campaign until you get to the Investigation mission. Then you have to complete the Rising Tensions quest. Then you have to complete up to Step 7 of Operation Elbrus and unlock the Kill the Messenger quest. Then finally, you have to complete the Vox Obscura mission. Well, the first step is to complete the investigation mission, and you're going to get access to this in the Witch Queen campaign, and that is one of the first few missions. It's fairly straightforward. Just follow along with the instructions on the screen. You're going to meet Finch and have a few tasks to do on the throne world, and then once you've finished it up, you're on to the next quest. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to complete the Rising Tensions quest. So next up, we've got to pick up Rising Tensions, and you'll go to the Tower Hangar, and you're going to witness a meeting of all the key players like Zavala, Keitel, Lord Saladin and Crow. So Keitel needs your help to investigate the Lucent Hive. So here you're going to jump into the new seasonal activity called the PsyOps Battlegrounds, and that's on the EDZ. So check out the map of the EDZ on the director and select the PsyOps Battleground. And here you're going to run through a series of battles with the Lucent Hive, and you're going to be jumping through portals and chasing them. Well, eventually you're going to find yourself at the final part, and that's called the Mindscape, and you'll take on the Lucent Hive. So the first few encounters, they're pretty straightforward, and the only thing you really need to pay attention to here is using the Hive Sword to take down the Wizard Shields. So Savathun's Echo will then attack you during the final boss battle, and you have to use the Synaptic Spear to damage the Echoes. So once you've defeated the Echoes and the Lucent Hive, some Cabal Scions are going to come and help you out. So once you've done this, go to the Helm, speak to Lord Saladin at the War Table, and he'll give you an update. So when Saladin is done, he's going to give you the next step of the quest, and this is the ongoing seasonal quest called Operation Elbrus. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to complete Operation Elbrus. So this one is our new seasonal quest, and we get a few steps each week. So this time, we only need to complete the steps 1 to 7 to be able to continue getting the Dead Messenger. So once again, you've got to run the PsyOps Battleground activity, collect a new currency called the Psionic Intel, and then open a runic chest at the end of the activity. So inside that runic chest you're going to find insight, and you can then take that to the war table in the helm, and this is what you need to upgrade the war table and open up various seasonal bonuses. Well after you've done that, speak to Lord Saladin again at the war table, and he'll finally give you the exotic quest you've been waiting for, and it's called Kill the Messenger. Well next up then, let's have a look at how to complete Kill the Messenger and the Vox Obscura mission. Kill the Messenger quest is fairly straightforward in terms of quest steps. You only have to complete one mission, and that is called Vox Obscura. So once you've got the quest, you better select the node on the throne world. However, this is a 1550 activity, so you're going to want to be as close as possible in terms of power level to be able to damage the enemies and not die. Now, it's possible to go in under-leveled, and also you can find a fire team to go in as a team of three. Now, I definitely recommend doing this, because it is possible to do it solo, but it's going to be much easier and quicker with a team of Guardians. There's also unstoppable champions here, so make sure you come equipped with the appropriate mods. Well, the location looks like the Mars we had in Destiny 1, and that is a nice callback. But for the first part of the quest, you have to make your way into a hangar, kill the enemies there, and then the timer starts, and you'll notice a new objective. Well, next up, you have to destroy the new objectives, so given you've got a timer, try to do this as quickly as possible. Also, you've got vehicles, so make use of them, because the Cabal definitely won't be pulling any punches. So clear the first area and make your way down to the next zone. Well, here you've got more Cabal ships and heavy weapons, so definitely try and avoid those. 
Well, in terms of the objective here, you've got power supplies you need to destroy, so you and your fire team can use the vehicles to help you get this done quicker. And also, try to keep an eye on the timer while you're doing this step of the quest. So once you've destroyed the power supplies, you need to make your way into the building. So you can either use a vehicle to round the door and break a big hole in it, or you can just simply shoot the door. So for this part of the quest, you want to make your way to the control room. So you've got three markers on the map, and with each one, you've got a scion encased in a bubble next to or near an immune scion. So to be able to damage and kill the yellow bar immune scion, you need to kill the one in the bubble, which you can do by simply jumping in there and either shooting them or finishing them off with a melee attack. Once you've done this, you'll be able to attack and kill the yellow bar scion. So complete this three times and it's on to the final boss room. So here we've got Kabix the Insurgent, and he's waiting for you in the final room. So he is a big scion who's protected by a bunch of cabal and also machine guns. And the mechanics are similar to the mission before, so kill the scions in the bubbles to allow you to damage the big scion, do this a couple of times, and then you're done. Well then, to collect your new exotic grenade launcher, head upstairs, open up the chest, and the dead messenger is yours. Well, finally today, let's have a closer look at the dead messenger. So the dead messenger is an exotic energy grenade launcher, and it comes with some really interesting perks. First of all, trinary vision, so it's a one-hot handheld grenade launcher, and projectiles release a fan of three energy waves on contact with the ground. And then we got the fundamentals, so you can change this weapon's damage type by cycling between solar, arc, and void. Well, this one is a great weapon for ad clear in Destiny 2. Simply shoot in their general direction on the ground, and all the enemies will die. It's definitely great too with switching the element, meaning you can mix and match to different enemy shields. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the dead messenger, and let me know what you thought of the mission. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the dead messenger in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Thanks to you. Keep up the fine work, Guardian.